salutations, third grade. It's Miss Merrill back with an update on your Genius Hour project. Today we're getting down to the nitty gritty with step two, research. The thrilling fact-finding mission that we're all gonna set out on together today. Now I have put all of the information on Class Dojo that you could possibly need to complete your project. I have given you ideas for what your project can look like when it's finished. I've given you a timeline for how your project should progress. And I've given you some really wonderful resources to get you started on your research. But I wanted to pop on today, like I did last week, to give you a glimpse into my own project and to share with you one of my most favorite teacher tricks that I always use to start a project no matter what it is. So, I've completed step one of my project just like you have, which is choosing a topic. Obviously, I've chosen agates. I have a picture of an agate behind me. I have worn an agate just for this occasion, and I brought some along from my own personal collection to share with you today, and to kind of let me take a close look at them. Here's one of my favorites. I've had this guy for a long time. I love all of the greens in here, these kind of sparkly flecks. It's got this cool hole at the top. It's really shiny and smooth and flat on these sides and really rough on the back. Like if I held it this way, it almost would look like a rock that you'd find right in your backyard, right? But then check that out. Amazing. I love it. I have a lot of agates here, but probably my most favorite one is this because check out this sparkly business on the inside. What is that? Where did it come from? What is it called? How come this agate has sparkles and this one doesn't? I have so much to find out. Before I set out on my mission to find all of this information, I'm going to try to organize my thoughts with something called a KWL chart. Now, K stands for what you know already, information that's just in your brain. W stands for what you wonder or what you want to find out. And L stands for what you learn. And as you can see, I've started mine, but I've left the L blank because I have yet to learn. I still have to start my research. And not until I finish that can I fill in the L. But I know that agates are gemstones. I know that they come from the earth, that they're natural. And I know from looking at them, from using my skills of direct observation, that they have different colors and patterns. Here's what I wonder, what I'm trying to find out. What kind of rock is an agate? Now you just studied rocks in science class, so you might know just from looking at it, but I've got my work cut out for me. I want to know where exactly in the world agates are found, because once I find out, I want to take a trip there someday and get one for myself. And I also want to know how do those colors and patterns form? Does it happen poof like magic? Does it take a long time? I wonder how long it takes to grow an agate? I have so many questions and this is just a start. I could put down a million other things that I wonder. I could really rack from my brain for information that I already know, but I can't fill in my L until I do my research. A KWL chart is a great way to get started. Once you do that, set out on your fact-finding mission. I've given you great resources on Class Dojo. You can use websites, books, and magazines that you might already have at your own house. You could use memories. Maybe your project is about a trip that you took somewhere. You can definitely use that information. That's valuable. There is so much that you can find out about your topic. I wish you happy trails in your fact-finding mission. I will check in again with you soon. I hope you will continue to reach out to me with any questions, but good luck!